All right, this is a review on the VLO XO Vloxo. I'm not sure if that's how they want you to pronounce it or what. Uh, bike light. Uh, it's about four inches long, a couple inches wide, just over two inches wide at its widest, and just under two inches at its thinnest. Uh, what I like about this bike light is that it's uh, it's made out of plastic. And that makes it lighter than the kind you, some of the ones on Amazon you'll find are made out of some sort of metal. And they're heavier. And if you want to be able to mount it, like we do, on a helmet, you want something lightweight. Just turn it on. It's got, you hold it down to turn on the high beam. It goes to low beam. And it goes to a flashing yellow and white. And then it goes just yellow. And then it goes back to the high beam. And you just hold it down to shut it off. Uh, the screen stays on, but it will shut off on its own eventually. Uh, I would recommend this 100% if it's if you're running this with another light, uh, just because it's not uh, super bright, uh, but it is bright enough. As you can tell, we like having lights on our helmets as well as on our uh, handlebars. So it gives you two sources of light. And having it on your helmet is great because then you have uh, light wherever you look and not just where you're pointing your bike. As far as the port that controls the uh, miles per hour and the mileage driven, um, I don't use that option, so unfortunately I won't be able to help you out with that. But I would recommend this 100% if you are using it for a light.